we're going to invite another artist, completely different type of art, a lot of shared ideas. She's a New York rapper, she's toured with Snoop Dogg, and she's creating her own reality as a rapper. And here we'll see a little bit more of Lance Pierce. You know, I know what I'm bringing, and what I'm bringing is this identity and substance and style and sex. You know, I don't make music for the press, I make music for the people. And I gotta say this, man, the industry has no idea of what's about to happen. Give it up for Lance Pierce. <laughs> Welcome to sunny Stockholm. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Please have a seat. And that I would also... Hi, hello, welcome. You? I'm very good. And we'll invite Natasha back on stage yes. as well. So Natasha, please come back here. You need another applause. Woo! Amazing. Okay, Amazing. please have a seat. Uh, that was amazing, that awesome. Yes, thank you. Breath Absolutely taking. amazing. I was both laughing and sort of taking notes at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I want to start, so you're an artist as well, but you have a completely different type yes. of artistic expression, namely rap music. Yes. Why is rap such a powerful tool for communicating? Oh, well, I fell in love with hip hop, with rap, because of the poetry and because of the rawness and the self-expression. Um, you know, there's something so incredibly powerful about a genre that started in the inner city streets. And this is in the late 70s um, and in the early 80s and, and started in, in block parties with DJs, right? And, and this is a genre that really pays homage to other genres, to other styles of music by sampling them, soul music, artists from the Motown era, um, and interpreting it and making it their own. For me, um, there's this incredible challenge in space right now to redefine what it means to be a rapper and to uh, also put together substance and intelligence and infuse that in the music. Because th that's all, not always been the case in rap. There's a lot of right. bitches and hoes and there's a lot of sexism <laughs> and, and a sort of tough right. language. Could you reflect on that? Sure. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, yes, it is a very machismo genre, but... Um, I think, to be honest with you, that we live in a male-dominated world. So to identify that rap is like a sexist uh, genre is also to acknowledge that we do live in a male-dominated world. Uh, so that being said, so is sports and football and, and whatnot. For, for me, I think that there's this uh, incredible opportunity, like the stock market, when there's a low and something crashes, you can really come in and, and you can redefine and you can you can potentially get very you know, wealthy and, and do great for yourself. For me, I see this incredible opportunity. There's a lull in substance, in women in hip hop who have something to say. And for me, what I'm doing is I'm able to come in and, and redefine that and, and construct this new image and, and maybe uh, battle the uh, over-sexualized image that mm -hmm. women have faced and, and, and create this uh, persona that other young women can identify with. But it's, hip hop has never have a, had a problem with not being real. Right. The same thing with art. Natasha, art, the art world, theater is real in a sort of, even though it's, it's, it's some other's word, it's a very sort of real experience. Brands struggle with trying to become real. Mm. C could you reflect on that? Why, why is sort of artistic expression so real as opposed to many advertising campaigns you see or other things? Well, actually, I don't, well, I think it, I would say it has nothing to do with the real elements necessarily, uh, more so than the advertising world is trying to sell something. Mm. And the creative world, the artistic world, which I have a big problem with that word, by the way, <laughs> um, is just simply trying to express something. Yes, they're selling tickets, but not, honestly, the, it's not the artists who are selling the tickets. Mm. It's probably t the theater managers, etc. Mm. So the artist just has this deep desire to express what, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, and, and which is reflecting uh, the current states of, of, of their world. And so there's no other motive. It's very authentic. So, so the, the sort of the value comes from the purity and that nobody's trying to sell something. 
Uh, I understand that point, but if I still would want to sell something and I would want to learn from the artistic world or from the sort of theatrical world, what, would I, what should I do? What should, I, what should brands do better? What should Branson? No, Brands, oh, not oh, Branson, oh. Brands. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> well, actually, Mr. Branson got it right because he plays a lot. And I, so I think uh, that's, that's the idea, it's playfulness and, and, and having something to say. But then it gets tricky because some, sometimes the brands, it, I don't know. Uh, uh, can I interject? Absolutely. Here? I think that like simplifying what it is and who your target audience is is really important. For instance, if I'm H&M and I want to make clothes that give the same feel as high-end couture, but I want to do it at an affordable price, you know, I'll partner with, let's say, uh, Martin, Mason Martin Margiela, mm. and, and we'll sell out overnight because we've identified what it is that we're trying to target and our audience, and we found a way to do that. I would say that for brands, it's also about the fact that we as consumers, our standards are almost so low. Like, it, for instance, if we boy, boycotted something, they would have to find a new way to market and sell, sell to us. Mm. So I, I think that it's really also about raising the consciousness of us as a whole and as, and as people to really demand more from our brands and, and, for, and for brands to care more about communicating with, with their consumers. Yeah, Paul from Absolute said something cool, or the quote that he showed, every time you buy something, you vote, you cast a vote for the, the, the world that you want to see. Right. And I thought that, 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 that was quite an interesting concept. Um, the world when I grew up, I was actually in the music industry before I got, uh, fell in love with tech. and. Uh, there, they were almighty record companies. The artist had to sort of, in a very humiliating, humiliating process, try to send them demo tapes and beg, and then they got signed, and then the record company took 90%. Mm. Now it looks very different to be an artist. Could, yes. you, could you explain sort of the artistic, uh, uh, sort of the artistic arena, for lack of a better word? How sure. do you promote your music, and how do you work with your, your, uh, your music? Sure. It's very exciting, actually. It's a fantastic time. I would say that we're in a a renaissance of art in itself. Um, you know, the record companies are essentially now like a bank. So you get signed and you get a, an advance, mm. and that's like a small business loan that's recoupable upon your first sales. So what social media has really done is cut out the middleman, and it's empowered artists like myself to go directly to our fans, mm. and it also empowers the audience so that the audience has more of a say. Um, for me, what I do is I focus on creating original, great content and consistently putting it out through social media channels. And, then and do you sort of hang out with your fans? Yeah, and do you yeah. There's a, there's, a, there's a dialogue that happens. And, you know, you allow your... your you, you pose questions to your audience. You know, who should I collaborate with? Uh, you know, what do you feel about me singing this? Or, you know, what cover song should I do at my next concert? It's really cool. I mean, it's kind of what you were saying about how, what if we could have this space where the audience could almost program what happens on stage, mm -hmm. right? So that's really the world that we're living in now, which is, you know, the, the giant corporations and these companies are, they're, they're being minimalized and marginalized because we have social media. We have a way to be part of something bigger than just ourselves, a network, which is why Uber and Facebook and YouTube are winning, because we're now part of a network together. And that's what I do with my music. Yeah. Natasha, you, you uh, as I said when I introduced you, you're extremely tech savvy. You're, you have a very digital DNA. Can you sort of, wh where does that come from? It, it was an organic and natural process. It, it was completely not calculated. Uh, and I, just coming from the world of theater and, and then producing my own work, writing my own plays, I just realized that it was not the right medium. And that no matter how wordy I got and how playful I got with words and how intricate the plays got and how lavish the sets were, it still were so, it was too linear, it was too mm. obvious, it was too tangible. Everything, I, I just like, it's too, too, it's too <laughs> real. <laughs> and this is not, this is not what's happening upstairs. You know, I think most of our lives we live it in a completely surreal and different world, mm. right? And we live very much on automatic. And so, how do we express this? And the, the, the first uh, world or idea that came to me was animation, 3D animation, and let's integrate this on stage. And then afterwards, it just became like a, 
a journey and a process of discovery. But, but you also add purpose or storytelling. You tell stories that you think are important in your plays or you, you, you raise a question. Uh, why is that important? Why couldn't it just be snack entertainment or you know, something fun and then you don't think so much about it? I've done the something fun. It's not my preferred, but I've, I also love to just have fun. Um, I, it's not, it's visceral. It's a visceral reaction and it's really not intellectual at this point. And I think that is probably the, the one area of my life that feels where I, I don't need to think, I don't need to intellectualize, I don't need to compromise. I, it's just, this is what I feel and I'm going to express it. And, and through this, this medium of, of, of digital and, and media, I, I can really be as metaphorical as I want. And so it, it doesn't have to be, this is the way that I think or mm. feel, but leave it open for everybody to participate and imagine. Fantastic. But your, your, your lyrics when you rap, uh, what do you bring into your lyrics? How do you write? Um, I, 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 truth, you know, truth. I think that there's this inherent responsibility as an artist to, uh, to really be honest and to be the voice of people. Um, very much so like, you know, Tupac and Biggie, if you're familiar with hip hop, to, uh, you know, Beethoven and, and Einstein. These are, you know, leaders, thought leaders who uh, they spoke about the times that they lived in. And, and therefore, now we have the ability to digest that information. And so I hope that for me, with my music, I'll leave the generations to come an idea of what it was like to be 24 in 2014 and to be pioneering my way through hip hop as a woman. And... Uh what, what could it sound like when you rhyme? <clears throat> oh, you want, you want a freestyle? Oh, why right. not? Um, you could call me a young hip-hop historian. Reach out, touch your audience. Maverick, Machiavellian, mind state so Freudian. Oh, you want a, you want a song? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I why give not? you that too. Give it up, last year. Yeah. Huh. This is Waterfalls. When the time is right, the curtain rises. What I don't know, I just improvise it. All these feelings that I feel inside me start to rush in like waterfalls, yeah. Rush in like waterfalls, yeah. Rush in like waterfalls. Still got promises to make good on, debts to be repaid, haters next to stick my foot on, yeah. Just call me Rolling Stone. I've been sleeping out my car where I lay my hats, my home. I got urgency in my heart, fire in my soul. A future full of promise and a past filled with ghosts. Got a knack, got a niche, got some pain that need release. Like a pressure cooker on the stove, my bars up with heat. Got some bills piling up like Chris Bonds, I will not crease. Got some friends, got some creeps, got a couple shows this week. And a line around the block, cause they love me in the streets. Been through the mud like a pair of cleats. Won't look down, can't see the feet. Blow that cush that make me deep. I know this make you weak. What I got is not a lot, but what I got, I give you peace. Yeah, yeah. Hands up. When the time's right, the curve rises. But I don't know, I just improvise it. All these feelings that I feel inside me start to rush in like waterfalls, yeah. Hey, rush in like waterfalls, yeah. Rush in like waterfalls. Still got promises to make good on, debts to be repaid, haters next to stick my foot on. Yeah, I'm an artist, I need acknowledgement. Yeah, I'm a woman, I need love. Yeah, I'm a daughter, I owe respect. Yeah, I'm a girlfriend, I need trust. Me and my girls, we need us. Conversations over dinner. Break up that she going through, I'm going through it with her. Said she about to give up, told her don't be no quitter. Told her let go and let God, that's the best advice I could give her. Huh. Pretty girls making ugly decisions. Hit your 20s, now you feeling like your time is ticking. But tonight I'm sipping, like bottle caps we twisted. My mind is on that, my hand is where the zip is. Yeah. When the time is right, the curve rises. What I don't know, I just improvise it. All these feelings that I feel inside me start to rush in like waterfalls. Yeah. Hey, rush in like waterfalls. Yeah. Oh, rush in like waterfalls. Still got promises to make good on, huh? debts to be repaid. Haters next to stick my foot. 
What the flaws I'm dripping? What the flaws I'm dripping? Call that thing outcast so big it don't fit in. Got a sixth sense intuition, a sixth sense ambition. Every day is judgment day based on my image. Yeah. When the time is right, the curtain rises. But I don't know why I just improvise it. All these feelings that I feel inside me start to rush in like waterfalls, yeah. Hey, rush in like waterfalls, yeah. Rush in like waterfalls, yes. Uh, rush in like waterfalls, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you.